Okay, so we have lagoon, estuary, and uh, delta. These are the three concepts. So without any further ado, let me start with it. See, first of all, this is the difference between a lagoon and an estuary. In a lagoon, you have some saline water in a sort of a hollow created inside the ground. So you can see here, a sort of hollow has been created inside the coast and some sea water has percolated inside. And this hollow is kind of shallow. So when the sea water gets inside this, it forms a sort of a pond kind of structure. This, if you study the depositional marine landform, you will know this is known as a spit or a bar depending on whether it is above the level of water or below or there might be certain rocks which kind of separate this body of water from the remainder of the mainland ocean or the sea so that this body of water is not as saline as the main sea but it is pretty saline and it is shallow and it can also act as a nursery for a number of fishes. There is no necessity of any river to be feeding it. Let this thing be very clear first of all. Now compare this with an estuary. An estuary you might also feel is like a hollow inside the coast in which the sea water has entered. But whereas in the case of lagoon the depth of see in the case of lagoon if the if the depth is x in the case of the normal ocean in the case of lagoon the depth might be x upon 10 so water has kind of receded out rather than entering into it but in the case of estuary water actually enters into that hollow and kinds of floods it so that flooding happens during the high tide so if you go to Haldia in West Bengal, you will find that there is a river Champa and during high tide water enters into it and floods the Champa estuary, which is a very beautiful sight to see. So this estuary is always fed by a certain river and it is quite deep compared to a lagoon and uh, much less saline and also acts as a nursery ground for uh, small fishes. Compare this with Delta. These lagoon and estuary were like, you know, some bodies of water in a hollow created out of a lagoon. But delta, that's a body of sediments, kind of a landform at the mouth of a river. Can we compare it with a lagoon? Not at all. But we can compare a delta with an estuary. Because both are formed at mouths of rivers. As a matter of fact, if you consider the Indian subcontinent, then throughout the west coast we have estuaries being formed except for the Kerala backwaters where lagoons are prominent but lagoons are also there in Odisha and many other places in Andhra Pradesh in the eastern coast of India we have deltas because the major rivers like Ganges, Brahmaputra, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri all of these are big rivers carrying a lot of sediments and therefore forming deltas. The western flowing smaller rivers form estuaries. Both are formed at the mouth. So this is sort of comparable. Well, that's it for now. And uh, yeah, thank you.